Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Math with Dr. War. In today's lesson, we're going to be factoring polynomials. This is a high emphasis topic on the task test. I've decided to break this lesson into two parts because on the task test, they're going to ask you to find the zeros of a polynomial. And in order to find the zeros of a polynomial, you have to know how to factor the polynomial. So today's lesson is factoring polynomials. Let's begin. So my first problem state, what are the factors of x squared minus 10x minus 24? So let's get that polynomial written. So we have x squared minus 10x minus 24. Now the negative 24 in your polynomial represents the product. And that means that I am looking for two numbers that when they multiply each other, I will be given a result of negative 24. The negative 10 represents the sum. Therefore, the two numbers that I choose for my product that will equal negative 24, when I add them, because sum means to add, I will get a value of negative 10. Now, because the task test is multiple choice, you do not have to really find the factors. They're given to you in the answers. So we're going to be using the method of working backwards. So here are our factors, negative four, positive six, or we could have negative four, negative six, or negative 12, positive two, or positive 12 with negative two. Our factors are given to us in the answers. Let's look at number one. So we have negative four, and I'm going to multiply that with positive six. Now remember when you're multiplying your integers, when one is negative and one is positive, your result is negative and four times six is 24. So we have the product. Let's see if we add these factors, if we would get a sum of negative 10. So therefore, let's add them. Negative four and we're adding six. Remember, when the signs are different, we subtract and keep the sign of the larger number. Our answer is two. So when we multiplied, we got the product. However, we did not get the sum of negative 10. We can exclude one as our answer choice. Let's try number two. The factors are negative four and I'm going to multiply with negative six. Now, when you multiply two negatives, the result is positive, so our answer is positive 24. We did not get the product, therefore, we can exclude number two. So because the product is not negative 24, there's no need to find the sum. Let's try the factors of number three, which are negative 12, and I'm gonna multiply by a positive two. A negative times a positive is a negative, and 12 times two is 24. So we got the product of negative 24. Let's add our factors. So negative 12 plus two. Remember when the signs are different, we subtract, which gives us 10, and we keep the sign of the larger number. So my answer is negative 10. So notice for the factors of negative 12 and a positive two, I get the product of negative 24 and I get the sum of negative 10. Therefore, my answer is number three. What are the factors of x squared minus five x plus six? So let's write our polynomial. Remember, the six represents your product. The negative five represents your sum. We're looking for two numbers that when we multiply them, we're going to get a positive six, 
and those same factors, when we add them, we're going to get a negative 5. Let's try the first factors, which is positive 2 and positive 3. If I take positive 2 and I multiply it by positive 3, I do get a positive 6. So it works for the product. Let's find the sum. If I take positive 2 and add it to positive 3, I get a value of positive 5. Remember, we're looking for a negative 5. Therefore, we can exclude 1 as an answer choice. Let's try negative 2 and negative 3. So if I take negative 2 and I times it with negative 3, I'm going to put some parentheses. I get a value of positive 6. Because remember, two negatives, when you multiply, gives you a positive. Now let's add negative 2 with negative 3. Remember when you're adding and the signs are the same, you add, which gives us 5, and you keep the sign of the larger number. So I get the negative 5, which is my sum. Therefore, our answer is number 2. These are not difficult. We're just using the strategy of working backwards and using our answers. Okay, let's try the last question. David correctly factored the expression, which is m squared minus 12m minus 64. Which expression did he write? So remember, the negative 64 represents our product, and the negative 12 represents our sum. So I'm looking for two factors that when I multiply them, I get a value of negative 64. And when I take those same factors and I add them, I get a value of negative 12. Let's look at our answers. The first factors we have are negative 8 times negative 8. Two negatives, when you multiply, give you a positive, and 8 times 8 is 64. We can exclude number 1 because our product is supposed to be negative 64, not positive 64. Let's try number 2. We have our factors as negative 8 and positive 8. So when we take negative 8 and multiply it by positive 8, we get a value of negative 64. So those factors worked for the product. Let's see if they work for the sum. So if we take our factors, negative 8, and add it to positive 8, Remember when the signs are different, we subtract 8 minus 8, you get a value of 0. Therefore, we can exclude number 2. We did not get the sum of negative 12. Okay, let's try the factors for number 3, negative 16, and positive 4. So if I take negative 16 and I times it by positive 4, a negative times a positive is a negative, and 16 times 4 is 64. Let's add our factors. Negative 16 plus 4. When the signs are different, we subtract, which gives us 12. Keep the sign of the larger number. We get negative 12, which is the value of our sum. Our answer is number three. So factoring on the task test is not that difficult. You're working from the answers because our test is multiple choice, so that makes it easier. So you're using your answers to help you. The answers have the factors, so you don't have to work them out. So we use our answers to figure out the correct answer. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck on your task examination. And again, 
Please like, subscribe, and share. If you know someone who's going to take their TAS examination and need some help, share the channel, share the love. Have a great day.